What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another campaign of Kings and Rivers and Hills. Today I'm going to be playing as House Hoa. Uh, in the last episode, I uh, the last campaign we played as House Aaron of the Vale. Smash that. If you guys can remember, you guys can check that in the link in the description and if I remember to put an annotation on the screen, I will. Um, I really enjoy this mod and I want to do another faction. I'm going to do House Hoa. Obviously with our House Aaron, we took the Riverlands, we took the North and it was pretty fucking awesome. So yeah, um, basically I'm obviously going to be playing on ha uh, playing House Hoa. I think it's pronounced Hoa or Ho. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I'm going to pr probably pronounce it Hoa or Ironborn, but I'm sure you guys will uh, tell me in the comment section below. Um, I'm playing on very hard difficulty and very hard battle difficulty. Basically, I'm going to work through every faction of this mod. So this is probably the main thing I'm going to be. Uh, uploading for the next couple of months. There might be a little bit of Third Age Moz Total War coming in and out of that. So yeah, um, after this campaign, I pro I don't know who I'm going to play as. I am I know for a fact that I'm probably going to play as House Bolton. I uh, probably not. I'm probably probably eh, hmm. is probably the only faction I won't play as. Seedings a couple months ago. I did my Windsor Winter House Bolton, so I don't really, I don't really want to do a House Bolton, Bolton anytime soon. But apart from that, um, the Storm Kings look pretty cool. Obviously, House Stark, or I could just mix it up and go with like Ironwood. But nevertheless, uh, I'm, I will ask you guys to vote later on. So let's get straight and right into it. I'll see you guys on the uh, the campaign map to get this campaign on a roll. I'm gonna skip the loading screen so I don't waste your guys' time. Hey guys, welcome to the campaign map. This is pretty much just the welcome and credits to the team that made this awesome mod. So we're currently playing as House Hoa. Okay, first things first. Um, we're pretty well spread out throughout the realm. We've got Bear Keep, the reels. So who are we at war with first things first? We're all with House Bolton, House Gardner and House Stark. Here's our family tree. Hmm. He has two sons. Okay. Where's he, by the way? It's probably down here in the arbor. I think... Hmm. The only problem is, we're so far spread apart, we can't, like consistently have our armies and attack one point and like expand we're just kind of scattered up the coast which isn't very very good so um it's good having like a bear keep in the arbor just in case we get like rushed by the lannisters um we'll have like a place to retreat back to but i'm going to abandon the north i'm sure we can expand into it later and i don't really like these victory conditions i can't do on my own thing so i'm going to leave a small garrison in the rules, but I'm gonna move Black Tide, isn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna move Black Tide back to Pike. Um, and I'm gonna start recruiting in the Riverland. Uh, in the Riverlands, I'm gonna start recruiting in the Iron Islands. Um, I'm probably, yeah, I'm gonna call this House Hoa. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. So, or we'll just call them Ironborn in general. Um, we do have a lot of troops in Sun House, but I think. Our best bet, even though we're not at war with the Lannisters, I think seeing as we can invade their lands quickly, and uh, seeing as we've got four settlements, this is the closest we have four settlements, and we can just pour troops into the Iron Islands. And I don't think they would be expecting us to like hit Casterly Rock and Lannisport. That'd be two massive gold gold mines. So I'm going to divide up the ships. I'm going to obviously leave a small token force in the arbor. Can you put on a low tax rate? Yeah, it's good. I think I might I might just go in and sack Old Town as well. We're gonna take most of our troops out of Sun House. And if we get besieged, we'll just like sack Sun House. I don't really care about Sun House. It's kind of obviously it's gonna be attacked by House Gardener at some stage. 
but I don't really care if we lose the land we retook. So we're going to move up. We're going to head over to Lannisport. By the time... Cause, yeah, we've got the king. King of the Iron Islands. What's his name? Cured. Corded. Cor... I don't know. Um, doesn't matter. Um, who's this? Quillen Greyjoy. Does he have a wife? No. I was going to say we could marry. We can't marry them into him. Um, can we build a diplomat? No, we don't, because we don't have a town, I don't think. That just shows how barbaric the bloody islands are. Island... Ugh. The I... The fucking Ironborn are. The Iron Islanders, I was about to say. <laughs> Doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> um... Yeah, like, House Garden's got a crazy amount of military. Um, I'm going to do a save. Um... Iron Born. What save is that? What saves do I do have on here? Storm, which is a little playthrough of the Storm Kings. Ironwood, and obviously my Aaron Let's Play. Okay. Well, we still got everyone moving up. We're losing a lot of money. Um, thank God we have a lot of ships. We'll spread out. We'll rally up at Pike. And we'll leave, yeah, that hard law there. And we'll leave that to there, because the capital. Good brother. Yeah, we'll rally up at Pike, and then uh, once Black Tie gets here, we're going to start moving on Casterly Rock. So if we can sack Casterly Rock and Lannisport, that gives us a footing in the mainland. And then we're hitting the Lannisters in the rear, so uh, we can move up and take the Crag. And uh, who the hell are these guys? Black Tide. Victorian Greyjoy. Okay. Well, we're losing money now. How old is this? No, where's the other black tide? Oh, he's disembarked. He's 51, so I think we might swap him out. We'll swap this black tide out for the younger son. Ah, uh, actually. Cruelly deformed. What? Okay, maybe not. Change my mind. We'll put him back at Pike. Um, yeah, we have this army with Good Brother, so... Once these guys want to rally up... Okay. Um... We have the King. No, we don't. Why isn't the King moving up? Oh no, we're going to attack uh, Old Town, weren't we? I totally forgot about that. We'll swing back up and around. Um, we want to put the best army in, obviously, one army. So, uh, we'll move. These Ironborn Warriors are pretty good. Take out some of the Longbowmen. Better off putting the uh, the short uh, just the archers. Better to put longbowmen in. Um, we got the prince commanding. Who's the best general? Greyjoy, Harlaw, Victorian. It's probably enough in that army. And the remaining. We'll leave it pike, we'll put on this army. So we've got a full stack. Another nearly half of one once. He's up. And there's a train going past my house. Fucking yeah. So I'm going to pause it and I'll see you guys in a sec. Now that that train's gone past, uh, it actually gave me an idea. We probably should get an alliance with someone. But I'm not really too sure who. I don't really want to get an alliance with the Storm Kings. Um, 
We're going to attack. I could get an alliance with House Martel. Because I do know, if do know for a fact there's a princess there. And they would be attacking House Lannister and House Gardner at some stage. But I don't have a diplomat yet. So maybe when I sack Old Town, I might be able to get some diplomats. I'm not going to keep Old Town. I just want to sack it. Destroy as much money as possible. So we can move on uh, Castle Rock. Because they are currently at war with um, House Gardner, and that's what they're really focusing on at the moment. So, yeah, so once we take Casterly Rock, Lannisport, we can actually move up through. That's cutting off them from Fair Castle. It's, it's cutting them off, which uh, it should hopefully swing in my favour. We'll be able to get some money to recruit more troops once we sack Old Town. Now, hmm, should we marry the prince off? No thanks. Not just yet, it's early days. Um, holy crap. Axel Gardner. I really don't want to fight him in the field, so we're going to sack Old Town. I'm only going to sack it and just withdraw out. Enough time to uh, build a diplomat. Can we flee? Not quite. Move the prince back out. Clear victory. Damn it. We lost a lot of casualties during that. I didn't want to lose, like... Um... Didn't really want to lose any casualties. Uh, yeah, once the diplomats build, we'll, start, we'll actually destroy every building inside. Oh, perfect. We've got enough to make a stack. So we'll head over to Casterly Rock. Yeah, look at that. That is extremely undefended. We could probably take that with this army. Who's in there? Kevin Lannister. And Dennis Lannister. We could potentially wipe out Lancel Lannister. I'm pretty sure it's Lancel Lannister, the king. We could potentially knock out um, his sons. Oh, we're being besieged at Old Town. Maybe that diplomat can't get out now. Fuck me. Um, can he? He won't be able to get out, will he? God damn it. Uh, we're going to have to go back. Lift the siege at Old Town, then just leave again. Can we go through the... Yeah. We're going to go and negotiate with House Martel. Being besieged. Um, weren't we being besieged at... Sun House? Yeah, we were. John Redwine. Oh, I don't really care now. We can move back out. Um... I'm just thinking whether or not to attack Castle Rock. We'll move our army here. We'll move Black Tide to cover the bridge so we won't get flanked. We're going to disembark and we're going to besiege Castle Rock. Even though that other army isn't there just yet. We might be able to... Can we stop? Fuck it. We'll start besieging Castle Rock. Because I would imagine most of their armies are attacking Gardner. King of the Dreadfort is dead. No, thanks. That... Oh, old town. <laughs> we'll swing up. Now, I'm probably going to have to sim those battles because there's not really a point. Why the hell is House Bolton angry with me? Right, we'll move him into... Uh, we'll marry the prince to uh, the Martel bitch. Um... It's a three to two ratio. There's only five units in there, and both of them are cavalry. Yeah. Oh, we've taken Castle Rock. We'll sack that. And there's only one unit in there. So Castle Rock and Lannisport are mine. That was easy. Now I can just, I can just like 
uh, there's gonna be so much bloody Lannister troops coming up now. I can just bloody say it. So now that we've got like a superior neighbor, we can start blocking these ports, and we might as well start recruiting back in the Iron Islands. So we can get some troops that can be ferried over. We could even try to take Bainfort, which is their capital at the moment. Awesome! We're doing extremely well. So far. Yeah, we could build another diplomat. We have reinforcements coming from the King of the Iron Islands. Oh, yes. Sack. That's what we Ironborn do. Um... I don't really care. I could have played it. I could have won, since it was only militia in there, but I don't really care about it. We, we sacked it, so it's not like we're not going to get much money for it. And uh, we just wasted that diplomat in all town. Oh, well. We're still losing money, though. Factions announcements. Riding old town. Right. Um, there's a crake hole there. I think we should split up some of these troops. So I don't really don't want the Greyjoys in one basket. We'll start recruiting. At the rock. Um, we'll move these sh ships back up to the Iron Islands. Oh, we've been... Looks like we're about to be attacked in the... Uh, in ten towers. Oh, we're being besieged at the reels. I thought that would be coming. Ah, we've got a shit ton of troops coming up, so we should be pretty well right. We'll take Kraken Hole last, but we'll move these guys to go on Kais. We'll, we'll, we'll block the point at Kais. Case, Kais, whatever. Put it on normal. I guess we can build some mines. Uh, probably not mines. Um, let's negotiate with House Gardener. Let's just try to get a ceasefire with them. Now we need to find this Martel bitch. Ah, perfect. What will save? Ah, uh, Mary Princess demanding. We'll give. Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I reply to absolutely everything. On there, you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up when I've posted a video and all that good stuff. So uh, also if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So bye guys.